Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of our tutorial series on web application with Oracle Apex. And in the previous episode, we have uh, explored the user interface of our online Oracle database. And in this episode, uh, we will create our first table inside our Oracle database. So without further ado, let's move to our tutorial. So first of all, let's log into our database. So go to apex.oracle.com and click on sign in. And inside that you will have to give uh, your workspace name and username and password. So my workspace is vz, sorry, vz.thapa and username is my email address. So dot com and password and sign in click on sign in or press enter and this is our oracle database interface and uh, uh, to create uh, the database in oracle we will be using uh, our sql query and uh, i want to save that uh, sql query as well so let's go to sql workshop and let's uh, go with sql script because we are saving our sql query so that the sql script can be shared with friends or uh, just save for future purpose so i'll click on sql script and click on create to create a new sql script so i'll just click on create and here we need to give a sql script name so i'll give this script name as create and table name so our first table will be category so it will be tbl underscore category so create table category this is our script name so just let me magnify it so that you can see it clearly so this is our script name the script name is create table category because we are creating our new table so the sql code is same as uh, in microsoft sql server database so if you have followed my tutorial series on database for beginners then you already know the code uh, anyway let's write the code to create our tbl category so the code is create table and table name will be tbl underscore category category and we need to give parentheses and inside it we will specify our column name uh, data type etc and our first column will be id category id so category underscore id and its data type will be number in ms sql server we had int or integer in oracle we have number and we need to give uh, the length as well so i'll give 10 and uh, it cannot be null so our a category id cannot be null value so we will specify as not null and comma and the second one will be category title category underscore title and it will be where cat to this is the data type for string uh, values so it will be where cat to and let's give its length as 100 that's it i think uh, we will only have two column in our tbl category uh, for now that's it and at last we need semicolon after parenthesis ends we also end with semicolon and the last column do not have a comma uh, previous column will have comma but the last column do not have comma this is the most places where developers uh, make errors the usually leave comma at the last column as well so that's the point you should remember and after the parenthesis ends you also end with semicolon and to specify it as a primary key we need to uh, use alter keyword so let's use alter table and let's give table name tbl underscore category and primary key is a constraint so we will add constraint and constraint name will be pk 
primary key shortcut for primary key underscore and let's give our column name which is category underscore id and the constant type which is primary key and we need to give column name so here we will have category underscore id and ends with semicolon so this is the query to create primary key which is alter table table name and add a constant primary key is a constant and constant name this is a constant name pk underscore category underscore id and what is the constant primary key and where we want to add this primary key on category id so that's it so let's save it by clicking on create so we have successfully created our create tbl category uh, sql script let's run it to run it just click on this or go to run column and click on this play button so i'll click on run and click on run now so here it is so there were two sql statements and they were both of them were successfully executed so first uh, sql statement was creating table and second sql statement was uh, adding a primary key constraint so that's it we have uh, successfully created our uh, tbl category so this is it uh, thank you so much for watching and in the next tutorial we i will show you how you can uh, create auto increment for our primary key uh, category id using sequence and triggers so thanks so much for watching if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you have any confusion related to this video then don't forget to comment i'll reply as soon as possible so stay safe take care uh, see you on next tutorial bye bye